What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here and we are just going to go over some things here. Now this is what you kind of have to expect when you go take your test but I'm not going to explain how and why. I think the best way you can obviously get that information is by swinging over here at Riders on MTC. This is where I'm doing my training, my little practice, and we're gonna be going over, just real quick, the skills test, part of the skills test. But while I'm doing this, I want you to ask yourself questions, why? Why are we doing this? Okay, so this is number one. Hopefully I got all the cameras synced up, I got my drone up here. This is number one, we gotta do a little slalom and stop in a box. I want you to think to yourself why this is important and why this is even on a skills test, okay? So I'm gonna be going to the right, Working with my friction zone, working with my head going straight, working with my arms moving. But I want you to think why this might be important. Where would you use that? Some slow maneuvers. There we go. Stop in the box. Very good. We'll move on to the next spot. So while we're moving to this next spot, this next spot, that was actually number one, guys. But why would you think you need to do the slalom? Why would you need to uh, turn around and stop in a box? Why would you need to stop precisely somewhere? Okay, so here's the next one. This one right here is the one that trips up a little bit of some peoples. <laughs> we go up to this T right here, make sure we follow instructions. This next one is a sharp turn to the right and then a U-turn within the box and then stop within the box. Now why and how would you ever need to use this? Say like I'm stopped here. Why would I ever have to go nice and slow and make a sharp right turn without going over any lines? And then at the same time, when would I have to do a U-turn in a 20-foot box? Why would I have to do that? Think about that. Think of a parking lot. Think of a stop sign right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here so I can move uh, the mat cam in a better position so you guys can see the braking skills test. So right now we just did two skills tests. Right now we did the slalom, turn around into a stop, a right turn, sharp right turn from a stop. There we go, a little bit better. Drone's about to die. But why would we do that? Maybe a stop sign, stop light. Maybe pulling out of a parking spot, doing a U-turn in a parking lot. So that is probably why it's on the skills test. Now this portion is braking. Why is that important? Think about that, you need to know how to brake. So we get some speed. After we pass the cones, learn how to properly brake. You notice how I didn't skid. You notice how I waited till the weight transfer to the front. These are all things you're gonna learn at Riders on MTC so you can be prepared for your skills evaluation. We're almost done. We are almost done. We did what? Slalom, U-turn. Yeah, we did slalom, turn from the stop to the right, U-turn, braking, and now we're gonna do a swerve. Why is this important? Why is swerving important, guys? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me why. Just in case you need to uh, uh, avoid an object, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So pick up some speed, swerve to the right, stop at the cone. Why? is that important? Why is the cone in line with where I originally swerved? All these things are very important when it comes to figuring out how to ride safely and there's a reason so why, why are each and every one of these four skills tests we have the drones the drone is dead the drones gonna land itself so I'm gonna talk to you mr. camera why is a slalom important? Where would you use that? Turning into and making sure you stop in a box. Why is that important? Turning from a stop, sharp right turn without crossing boundaries, doing a U-turn, why is that important? Stopping and making sure you get appropriate speed and then stopping as practice, that's very important. Swerving is very important. These are all things that you will learn in class. These are all things you'll learn at the MSF BRC1 class. And honestly, you're gonna get the best coaching here at Riders on MTC. I teach here now, I coach here now, so you can always ask for me if you want, but we have Trina, Steve, uh, we got uh, Justin, Paul, we got a bunch of other people here that are amazing instructors and coaches. And this is actually the range. 
if you notice, I'm out here at the range. This is the one next to uh, the Pima Drag or Tucson Dragway and uh, having a lot of fun out here. But I wanted you to understand what it is that you see and it's not that scary. And if, if you feel scared to take the DMV test, if you feel scared to possibly do something like this on your own without any prior coaching, please check out Ride Arizona MTC. Link will be in the description. And we'll be working on this stuff for two days with an e-course and everything. And you'll learn how to do it through multiple exercises. And then when you get to the end, it's going to be a lot of fun. Get your endorsement. Okay? So don't be too worried. All right? This is what to expect at the DMV test. Um, and you'll be taught everything you need to know. All right? With that said, I hope you guys ride safe. Be safe. Check out RideArizonaMTC.com. And with that said, I'll see you guys later.